Welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be making a brushed metal effect and a screw. So to start us off, let's go over to the gradient tool and select the colors. Usually I would select a dark gray or a black, so I just have it on this darker gray color right here. And click OK and OK again. Then hold Shift and drag your mouse across to create the gradient. After that, go up to Filter, then Noise, then Add Noise, and we're going to put it on 40%. Make sure that Gaussian and Monochromatic are checked on, and then click OK. After that, you're going to want to go down to Blur, and then Motion Blur. The angle should be 0, and the distance should be 100 pixels. It can be 80, 90, 100, but 100 is good for a basic metal effect. And then click OK. So now you can see that you have a brushed metal look in the middle here, but off to the side, on both sides, there's this barcode looking stuff, and that's not good. We don't want that. So just go over to your crop tool and just crop it out and right click crop. Okay, so now that we have our metal effect done, we're going to make our screw. So what we're going to do for that is come over here to the Lips tool, which can be found usually under the Rectangle tool here. Just hold your left mouse and then go down to Ellipse. And so that you guys can see it, I'm going to drag my palette out here so that you can see the, um, the blend effects. And we're just going to make a circle in the middle. Hold Shift so it's perfect. And make it pretty big because we'll size it down later. And what we're going to do is click on this little FX button here go down to gradient overlay and then we're going to set it to radial and click on reverse and I don't really like the black on the outside there you can set it that way if you want but what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and pick a darker gray kind of like we did for the gradient of the metal and then click OK and OK so now it's got this nice rounded look to it then what we're going to do is come over here and select the rectangle tool and we'll first make a new layer so it's not on the same one and just make a rectangle about this size and what we're going to do is we're going to add a color overlay of this outer color of the circle we made, the rounded circle and just click OK. And after that, we're going to go to Inner Shadow because right now, when we move this onto here, I mean, it looks somewhat like the inner part of a screw, but it's just missing that depth. So what we're going to do is go to Inner Shadow and just put it on black and 75% opacity. You can see the uh, the things I have in here if it, if you're watching it in HD. So just click OK after that. So now we've got this depth of the inner part of the screw. I should probably move this out just a little bit more. It's not going to be perfect because you're trying to fit a rectangle inside of something round. So, But when you size it all down it'll be OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold, make this bigger, Take and uh, hold shift to grab both of these layers. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to do merge layers. So we've got our screw as one whole layer. And then after that, you can uh, just size it down and it sizes fine because you're just using shapes and apply transformation. And after that, then you have your screw right here. And if you're going to make multiple screws, you just drag this layer down to duplicate layer and then you have another one and if you want them to be the same spacing then just hold shift drag it across and you know that screws don't always go in and end up the same exact rotation so you're going to want to take and rotate it so that it's different and you can take and make more of these if you want and put these down and then rotate it and that's how there you have it you've got 
now a brushed metal effect and some screws. So what I want you guys to do is subscribe because we're going to have a video every week. And just uh, if you have any suggestions, um, the email to send those to is going to be in the description. Uh, just let me know. And I'll see you next week. Thanks.